Hey, welcome to Prepping for Prosperity. How are you all today? I hope you're having a good day. You should because you're headed for prosperity, right? Hey, I wanted to talk today about your greatest current investment. I want to talk about your food as your bank. But first I want to add something because I had, I just interject this. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on this because I think it's going to, uh, it, it warrants more of, detailed explanation that I'll do maybe tomorrow. And and that is, I had somebody say, you know, um, they thought that the reason that a lot of people didn't want to hear about finances and economics and things like that is because a lot of people are already in such financial trouble that they're actually hoping for a collapse of the world to relieve them of these problems. And I I, I, at first, I kind of wondered about that, but I, I think that that's probably true. Uh, and I think that that's sad. And so I, want, I just want to say this. Um, if you are one of those, and if, or if you know somebody like that who, who has gotten, and it, and it could happen for any number of reasons. It can happen because of, of um, uh, bankruptcy made necessary by medical bills or or. Um, we know what tough times are like from back in the 2008s and 9s and 10s. Uh, it could be a, f a collapse of, of the economy, which, which is coming. It could have been a lot of people had a lot of problems because of the shutdowns. So there are a lot of people out there are hurting, and I understand that. Uh, but, but hiding from it is not the way to handle it. There are ways. I just want to say this. I can assure you there are ways to, to get out of it to deal with and, and rebuild, uh, whether it's bad credit, whether no matter what it is, there are ways to handle it. And so I do want to address that. Uh, I'll do that maybe tomorrow or the next day, but don't hide from it. Hiding from it is not the way to deal with it, okay? And so have, have a little hope, whether it's you or whether it's somebody you know, tell them. Ha have hope. There's no reason to feel hopeless. There's no reason to hope that the world collapses uh, so that you won't have to continue to deal with your current problems. Your current problems can be dealt with positively, and you can get out of them, and you can start living a better life. So, uh, and that's where you. Well, that's what you want to do. You don't want to have to want to live a life of hiding. Uh, what I want to talk about very briefly here today is, and we we talk about you know what you should invest in, and I've said for years, and I've mentioned it here. Don't invest in stocks. Don't invest in real estate. Uh, they're all too high. And we've we've started seeing uh, we've saw an, we saw an adjustment on stocks. We're seeing the price of real estate start to come down. We're, we haven't seen a crash yet, so it's 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 coming. You know, inflation is ramping up, and still the Fed raised the interest rates by 25 basis points, which is just a fancy way of saying a quarter of a percent. And they're th they're talking about doing another 25 basis points. Within a week or or shortly thereafter, um, they the idea is that they're doing this to slow down inflation. It's not going to work at this point. Jamie Dimon, chairman over at J.P. Morgan Chase, has said uh, this system is broken. We're headed for hard times for at least 12 to 18 months. Uh, I agree with him, not that I'm some financial expert, you know, to lend credence to Jamie Dimon's stance, but he, he knows, and I know enough about this just to, to operate on this level, saying expect hard times, bad times for at least another year, year and a half. Now, how you want to better yourselves, uh, one of the very first videos that I ever made was on stocking food and it was over on the other channel and i'm going to when i get done with this i'm going to, to find that one and i'm going to put it on the patreon channel of prepping for prosperity because you need to see it if you're not with us over there on the patreon you should be there is so much information over there that's going to help you understand and kind of help you know how to deal with what we're going to be dealing with here in the next year or so but i'll put that up over there one of your best investments, what I've always said for the last few years, has been food, firearms, and ammunition. Okay, 
and then medical supplies too. But food is probably the biggest one. Uh, while they're claiming an 8%, 6%, some of them will say, uh, inflation rate, that's a bunch of hooey because they, they don't count food and fuel. Those are the big drivers of true inflation as it's felt by American families. Or, you know, I know not all of you are in America, whether you're in, in the United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Germany, wherever you are. Uh, food and fuel is really what kills the average family, the average person, because it's volatile. You have to have it, and it's going up. And I went through some of some of the food inflation here not long ago, but you know I look at the things that I buy, and I actually do do some of the grocery shopping, so I I see it, and I look at things. Uh, that I have bought anywhere from 80 to 300 percent inflation over the last year. And you know it too. Food is where you're going to be able to actually make money because you're going to save money. Okay, And you know that saving money beats making money because you don't pay taxes on money that you save, right? Okay, you know the old penny penny saved is a penny earned? Well, actually a penny saved is two pennies earned because you're not paying taxes on what you don't spend. You can still, you need to look at your, at your food stocks as a bank. You need to buy what you can. Now, now, we have saved, I would guess, thousands of dollars over the last few years in what we have not had to spend for certain food. Hi, buddy. For certain food because we already had it. We had it because I bought low. And I've said this before, every can of corn, every can of beans, every can of peas, every can of, I, I bought it for 29 cents a can when it was 29 cents a can. It's now $1.79, whatever, sometimes more than that. Uh, we're not having to spend that. You know, If we're saving, we're just actually making a buck and a half, essentially, every time we need a can of, of vegetables. All of the Progresso soup that's now going for almost $3 a can, I bought it all for either $0.77 cents or $0.88. Cents. We have made money. That's almost like a second job to some people or a part-time job. You see, that is real responsibility. That is true preparedness responsibility. That is your insurance, your food insurance. It's something you have to have. And if you invested in that, uh, you're going to be doing very well. You're not going to be at the mercy of these volatile food prices that are just going to become more volatile. Okay, Now, you can still find food, and you might say, oh gosh, it's already past time. No, you can still find food on sale. The thing is, you don't go down and buy what you want every day. You go down and you do, and I know you need to buy the food that you need for the meal that you're preparing. But if you have it down down in your basement or wherever you have it, you don't have to go buy it. But buy what's on sale. Buy it. Buy a bunch of it. Because it's going to be something different next week. And then you buy that. Start investing in your food now. Not at, not at regular prices, but at sale prices. And you're going to get a return on your money that far exceeds anything you can get out of the stock market or real estate or or your 401k or anything else right now for the next year, year and a half. Do it now and realize that, that your food stocks are actually a bank. Um, we're going to see this continue for a while. Pulling your horns, stop spending money that you don't absolutely have to spend. Make more money. Uh, Work on that side job. Work on that side gig. Work on that business of your own. Work on that second job, whatever it is. You can either suffer along with those who will not do it, or you can actually, in hard times, make a better life for yourself. And that's what we're all about, right? Uh, best of, I won't say luck, because it has nothing to do with luck. It has everything to do with being smart and doing what it takes. Okay, so I'm going to put that video up over on the Prepping for Prosperity site. I tell you exactly what I spent for that stuff, exactly how long it will last, and it gives you probably, I think that it's the best description of food stocks. And I did it because I, I, I watched others and I thought they had something lacking, so I did mine. 
everything that you need to know, and it will help you a bunch. You're working for prosperity, right? Work harder. Don't waste your money because the day will come, that money that you have, you'll be able to really apply it when everything comes tumble down. Real estate's going to be on sale. Stock's going to be on sale. But you want your money when that time comes. You all have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.